Hey, what's up? My name's J.M. Chaley and welcome to my channel. This month, I'm doing 31 tips in 31 days. That's 31 author tips for the month of July 2024. And this is tip number 26. And I want to talk about free tools that authors can use. Now, we've heard of some of these, I'm sure, but I'm going to go into a bunch that I certainly use a lot. And free tools are free and free is good. So let's start off with Canva. Canva is, it's a graphics tool. If we don't all have Photoshop and it would be great to be able to make little images for our promos and stuff like that, put our book cover on there and put some friendly little words on there. You know the, how you can do the, um, the cover of your book with little squiggly arrows, you know, pointing to different tropes, you know, enemies to lovers and found family and Ribbidaboo and all this whatever stuff crams into your book, you can do that in Canva. Very, very useful stuff. Lots of stuff in Canva. If you haven't checked it out, definitely check it out. In the same sort of column as Canva is Book Brush. Book Brush is very similar to Canva, but it caters more towards book covers. So if you want to create maybe like, you know, someone holding your book or your book on a desk or your book, you know, on a, on a coffee table or something like that, or your book as an ebook, you know, show, show the cover of your book on an e-reader or a, or a mobile phone or, or a hardback or whatever. Book Brush specializes in showing your book as a book. And then you can take like a little mock-up of what your book looks like and then put a little backdrop behind it with some words and all this kind of stuff. Now, Book Brush does all that plus the stuff that Canva does as well. So you can do the little book cover with the tropes banging out and all this kind of stuff and all the little graphics and marketing stuff that your heart, to your heart's delight. So mo I, maybe there's stuff that Canva can do that, that Book Brush can't. But more often than not, for me, I use Book Brush for everything. In short, Book Brush does everything that Canva can do, but it focuses on the book covers and creating these kind of like little vistas where your book cover is, you know, your book is hanging out wherever. Uh, I don't know if there's stuff that Canva can do that Book Brush can't. I don't really use a lot of Canva because Book Brush meets all of my needs and then some. The next tool I want to go into is Millinote. Millinote is really great if you are someone that uses things like mood boards or little post-its and things like that and keeps track of like little notes and, and, and all sorts of things. You can make folders for different characters and you can basically build your story in however you want to do it. You can put notes, you can put your outline there, you can put pictures of your character or you know face grabs of what you think your character should look like to help you with descriptions. I've done all sorts of stuff with Milano, like uh, Lisa, she has uh, a small handheld pistol. I have a picture of what her pistol looks like on my Milano board, my little Lisa board that has pictures of her and art that's been done by her and photos, original photos that I, well, the, the original photos that I used for, you know, uh, that I gave to my artist to show, you know, this is what I think she, she, she should look like. There's outline snippets, there's backstory, the origin of vampires is written up, you know, in these little notepads and stuff like that. And they're all in different folders and stuff. So Millinote really is sort of like, it's very similar to Microsoft OneNote, uh, which is probably another tool I should add to this list. But Millinote really uh, caters to creatives in a, in a way that OneNote may, may, may cater more towards like offices and corporate America type stuff. Um, but, you know, artists, authors, things like that. If you want to make a mood board, Milano can have all this kind of stuff. You can collage stuff, move stuff around. Check out Milano if that's something up your alley. Another tool is MailChimp. If you don't have a newsletter, MailChimp is among the many services, newsletter services, that has a free option that's very easy to set up. Basic, you can construct your newsletter every single month or however you send them, you basically copy it, you can build like a template, 
You can have a landing page where people will sign up for your newsletter, MailChimp and other services like it. I've only really explored MailChimp because that's what I use, but there's other stuff out there. Definitely shop around. But if you don't have a newsletter, uh, by the way, check out Newsletter Ninja, the book, and build yourself a newsletter to have that sort of author platform going. And the last recommendation I will have for a free author tool is BookFunnel. BookFunnel does have a paid service, but they also have some free stuff too. And I use BookFunnel for my free short story, the mezzanine speakeasy that you get when you sign up for my newsletter. So basically, I have this story that I wrote. I put it up on BookFunnel's site. When you get my newsletter, there's a link that sends you there. BookFunnel has the link. You download it, you get your free book. Easy peasy. So this is something that would be really great if you're using reader magnets like short stories and they are free. Sure, there's a paid service that does a bunch of other stuff. BookFunnel goes into all sorts of different services. I'm not going to go into them here, but the free service is a big one and that's reader magnets. Okay, so if you like this video, smush that like button. And as always, please subscribe. I'm posting every single day in the month of July, 2024. So I'll see you tomorrow.